Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Bath & Body Works empties video for you guys. It's been about four weeks since I did my last one and this is where we are right now. So as you can see, my bag is full to the top once again. I have a ton of stuff to show you guys from a home fragrance to body care, hand soaps, hand sanitizers, everything. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna be pulling stuff randomly out of the bag and here we go. So the first thing I have here is a Vanilla Bean Noel Shower Gel. I actually have two of those. So I was really pressing through trying to get rid of some of my winter stuff that I had on my agenda to get rid of this time around. So I have two of those. And if you don't know, Vanilla Bean Noel is fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow kiss musk. To me, the shower gel is the sweetest form of this scent. It has absolutely no snow kiss musk in it whatsoever. It just smells like vanilla, caramel, sugar cookies, and whipped cream. It's super sweet, almost sickeningly sweet, which is why I love it so much in the shower gel. But I will admit, that I'm a little burnt out on this scent just because I used up so much of it this go around like I was really pushing through trying to get rid of it that I um, burn myself out on it so I used up way too much so these are the two shower gels then I also have two fine fragrance mists in Vanilla Bean Noel one from 2015 so this is really old and then another one from 2017 um, winter collection this is what the packaging looked like for this past holiday season so I was using this so much like I was spraying myself my room my car everything my hair like I was spraying everything with this fine fragrance mist because I just could not get enough of this scent I was loving on it so much but once I got like to the halfway point on the second bottle I was so over it I was just like oh my god I'm still gonna repurchase vanilla bean Noel, but just not until obviously the holiday season because I don't need any more of it I'm over it and then I also have a Vanilla Bean Noel body lotion. And this is from 2016 um, Holiday Collection. And this is the one that everybody wanted them to bring back. Because y'all know, I, if you're a Bath & Body Works fan, then you know all of the hoopla that happened with Bath & Body Works changing their formula, adding coconut oil in to their products, and ch it changing the scent and not lasting long on the body. It was a whole big thing. Like, if you're in the Bath & Body Works, then you know what I'm talking about. So everybody was asking them to bring back, you know, 2016 fragrances and whatnot. So I was so happy that I still had a lotion from um, 2016 in Vanilla Bean Noel. So I didn't have to actually go out and buy any because the lotion and the body cream was what everyone was complaining about. So I just went ahead and finished mine up. And I will repurchase Vanilla Bean Noel in the lotion or body cream this holiday season if Bath & Body Works has changed it back to the original formula so then I have a gingerbread latte body lotion this is also from 2016 this is Santa's gingerbread frosted pear brown sugar vanilla latte and whipped cream to me brown sugar is amazing this is one of the few lighter scents like as far as what the fragrance notes are you know like that sort of soft sugar cookie type of scent like cookie type of scent this is the only one that lasts on my body all day like literally all day i put this on in the morning and when i come home from work i can still smell it on my skin this was really really strong and i'm sad that i only had one form of this in my collection so if i see it this holiday season i will definitely stock up on the shower gel lotion body cream and spray this is really really good I really like this one Two Twisted Peppermint Body Lotions. This is another one that I burnt myself out on because I had that huge two-in-one bubble bath and shower gel um, form that they brought out this year. And then I also had a fine fragrance mist from 2016. These two body lotions, a candle, just a wallflower i had so much stuff twisted peppermint so i burnt myself out on this scent if you don't know it is cool peppermint sugar snow vanilla buttercream fresh balsam and hint of musk in the lotion form i feel like you get all of that you get the balsam you get the peppermint you get the sugar you get the buttercream you get the musk it is everything wrapped up in one and i really do like twisted peppermint and i love the cooling effect that it gives my skin especially when i'm sick and it's really really hot in the house and we have the heat going this is really nice to use during the winter time to kind of cool you off when you're in the house so i do like twisted peppermint but again i burnt myself out on it so i won't be repurchasing it until the holiday season that was it for body care we're gonna move on to soaps now i have a snow kiss citrus creamy luxe hand soap this was in the kitchen absolutely love this it 
it says sugary winter lemons glisten in the first snowfall and that's exactly what it smells like it just smells like sugary lemons and it was really good to have in the kitchen and i really love the creamy luxe hand soaps um not only is the packaging like super cute with this like raised glitter and everything but when the soap is actually in the bottle the actual soap has like a shimmery iridescence to it no matter what color it is they just have like this little shimmer to it and it's super pretty this was like a light turquoise blue color it was gorgeous so i really enjoy the creamy luxe hand soaps they actually feel really good on the skin as well and then I have a gingerbread latte deep cleansing hand soap. This is warm gingerbread vanilla latte and whipped cream. The hand soap was different than the body care simply because the hand soap only had three fragrance notes in it and they're all sweet. So gingerbread, vanilla latte, whipped cream. So the hand soap was a lot sweeter than the body care and I really, really enjoyed this hand soap. It was actually in my son's bathroom and he went through it like crazy. So this was a good one. Then I have Mary Berry Kiss Deep Cleansing Hand Soap, and this was in my bathroom. It's winter berries, snowy vanilla, and crystallized ginger. It smells exactly like what it says. It's a berry note. It has a soft undertone to it, which is the vanilla. And then there's something about it, something different about it with the crystallized ginger. Whenever there's something in a fragrance note that's like crystallized amber or ginger or anything i can always tell it always gives it like a different take on the fragrance notes it's always really good too so i did enjoy this one then i have a cookies for santa gentle foaming hand soap and i did not like this one probably wouldn't repurchase this one it's golden buttercream cookies sprinkled with sugar and cinnamon and i oh, i went into using this soap expecting it to smell sort of like merry cookie or even vanilla bean noel something with like a sugary cookie note to it but this was super spicy like the cinnamon just overpowered everything as soon as you started washing your hands with this all you got from it was cinnamon and i did not like that once it dried down on your hands like after you rinse them off and you went to go smell them then it sort of smelled like cookies but it's like you know on initial contact all you got was like spicy cinnamon and I did not like that so I would not repurchase this soap I'm going to move on to the three wick candles now so this is sparkling amber this was a favorite of mine it reminded me of my time in Germany so it was very nostalgic something that I had when I was in Germany smelled like this and I just can't put my finger on what it was but when I was burning this candle it took me back to that time when I was young and living in Germany and I loved it so this is sparkling golden amber black currant bergamot citrus if I see this scent again I would definitely repurchase it it burned all the way down perfectly it was a great candle did have a little bit of sitting but that was partly my fault because i do not trim my wicks so that's basically my fault and um this was from 2016 then i have a frosted cranberry from the camp winter line made with essential oils this is notes of ice cranberries and orange essential oil and literally that is all you get from this is a cranberry note and it has like a citrusy note as well this candle was so strong it would throw you out of your house like it was so super super strong and it was almost headache inducing i could not burn this candle for more than like an hour and a half whereas my other candles i always leave them going for like three or more hours this one no ma'am could not do it but it was a really good candle and again it burned all the way down absolutely perfect no sooting no problems with it it was a great one and i would repurchase it it's just super strong then i have here a twisted peppermint i got this during the eight dollar candle sale i love twisted peppermint and now i know that i need to have at least one of these every winter holiday season i used this candle when i was sick and stuffy and i swear it was almost like aromatherapy therapeutic type of vibe in my um bedroom because that's where i had this and it almost gave off like like i said like a therapeutic type of note it made me feel better i don't know if it was just all in my head but um it has the same notes as the body care but i feel like in the candle all you get is the peppermint the sugar well the peppermint the sugar and the vanilla buttercream is all you get there's no balsam there's no musk there's nothing in the candle except for the sweet notes and it was absolutely amazing I, I went through this candle so fast i was burning it for like five hours at a time it was so good it, it, it's great and i know that i need to have one every season well every holiday season then i have pumpkin pecan waffles and as you guys can see i still have a lot of wax from this one it didn't go all the way down and that's just simply because it started having puny wick syndrome and i do not deal with that this is my first candle that i've ever burned that i've had to deal with that yes i know thank god but um 
this is the first candle that I've ever had to deal with that and I just didn't want to be bothered so I just put it out and I was like I'm done with it this is maple syrup golden waffles pumpkin spice and brown sugar another one that will throw you out of your house it is sickeningly sweet super strong but it's good like it's really good it makes your home feel nice and warm and inviting and like you bake all the time like you cook all the time and I love this packaging I wish Bath and Body Works would bring back their pictures on their candles that look like this super pretty it really makes me want to go and have some waffles it's really nice so as you guys can see i had the problems with it burning but you know once it got down to about here i was done with it anyway it it served its purpose so it was okay and then lastly i had a salted caramel and i have another one of these that i bought at the eight dollar candle sale so i was like let me go ahead and get this one out of my collection i love the packaging on this as well this is another one from 2016 this is salted caramel roasted chestnut caramelized sugar and dark molasses absolutely perfect burn all the way down to the bottom smelled amazing it just smelled like caramel and it had a salty note to it it was so good so so good i'm glad i have a backup of that one so i have two pocket bags here to show you guys i have one that is jingle bell berry and it smelled exactly like that it was a nice berry scent super strong whenever i would put this on people thought that i sprayed something or like put on perfume or something it was absolutely amazing i love their berry scents and their hand sanitizers and i have so many hand sanitizers and i feel like bath and body works they repackage their hand sanitizers all the time and they're always coming out with new scents it's actually hard to keep up with how many scents they come out in the pocket bag so i mean i would repurchase this if i saw it again but i'm pretty sure it'll be coming back out as a different name same scent though and then I have a BFAB Everyday. This one had a really strong smell of alcohol, so I couldn't really get the actual sugar cookie note from it until it dried down on my hands. And that's something that you have to um, realize about the softer scents in the pocket bag form. Since it is an antibacterial hand gel, it is going to smell of alcohol. And for the softer scented um, fragrance notes, the alcohol is going to kind of overpower it. So I did enjoy this one. It just had like a strong alcohol scent. And then I have one scent portable. This is Golden Pineapple. Love that. It smells amazing in my car. It's actually starting to wear down now, but it's amazing when I did have it. So now I'm going to move on to the Wallflowers. And the first one I have here is Cinnamon Pretzel Roll. So I only have the little tab for it, but um, this is amazing. And I bought like five of these when they had the semi-annual sale because it's amazing this is the same thing as the cinnamon pretzel roll i mean the cinnamon pretzel twist spice it up candle which i do have and i'm so scared to burn it because i don't want to be without this scent but the scent notes are fresh ground cinnamon soft homemade pretzel and vanilla cream icing and i swear to you guys this smells just like a pretzel from auntie ann's that just came out of the oven they just sprinkled that melted butter over it and then they put cinnamon over it powder Powdered sugar and they put vanilla cream icing on it like the little dip icing that they give you it's so good absolutely love this wallflower and i'm probably not gonna burn my other ones or my candle until like fall time this year but it's such a good one it's such a good bakery scent it's so different than bath and body works typical normal bakery scents this was a different take and i love it so much then I have a Twisted Peppermint Wallflower. Same thing. Like I said, I just got really burnt out on this scent. So I'm over it. Then I have a Snowflakes and Citrus. I think I actually have two of these. Yes. I have two Snowflakes and Citrus. These were in the bathrooms. I wish they were stronger because it's such a great scent. It's Frozen Lemon Peel, Fresh Squeeze, Tangerine, and Sugared Snow Crystals. And like I said, I just wish these were stronger because they were amazing. I love my citrusy type of scents. So they would have been good, but you know, eh, wallflowers are hit and miss. Then I have a Coconut Snowflake. This was definitely a different one. It is Cooling Peppermint, Fresh Spearmint, and Coconut Water. You definitely got that peppermint and that spearmint in there but i feel like the coconut water gave it like a nice twist it was a really really fresh type of scent so i don't know if i would get this one again though and then lastly i had a marshmallow fireside which was perfection this is another one in the wallflower form that would throw you out of your house it was super strong and it's toasted marshmallow smoldering woods and warm vanilla absolute perfection i love marshmallow fireside love it love it love it we'll definitely repurchase it so 
that is the entire bag that's all my empties everything i went through in the last four weeks since the last time that i saw you guys and as always i am already collecting all of my empties in my next bag for you guys to film for my next video i am in full spring mode right now because like i said i was just trying to get rid of some of my winter scents that were on my agenda to get out of my collection um i still have a lot of winter stuff though from like last year this year 2016 i still have a lot of winter stuff but you know i did want to use up a lot of what i did already have but um yeah like i said i'm in full spring mode okay i am using up my spring stuff and i'm enjoying it really really loving the bright fruity fresh type of scents so please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification if you guys want to be notified every time i upload a bath and body works empties video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like bath and body works empties videos and leave me a comment down below and i will see you all in my next one thank you so much for watching peace